Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarisha, and today we're going to do a slow moving yoga practice that is perfect to help stimulate digestion and help with seasonal transition and changes. So both go hand in hand. It's really important to take care of yourself, to nourish yourself, and to remember that there is a sense of stability that resides within you that you can call upon for times of transition and change. We won't really need much for practice, but if you've got tight hamstrings, you can grab a scarf or a yoga strap because we're gonna use this to loop around the foot so that we can extend out long through the leg or use this around the front of the leg to use it to draw closer in. Um, so this practice is designed to help you feel stable, to help you feel nourished. We'll stay low to the ground using the earth to support the body, to support the mind and the spirit. So let's go ahead and get started. So keeping your props nearby in case you need them we are going to get started laying down, flat on the back. And if laying down doesn't work for you, you can always stay seated. But we'll come to lay down flat and you can have your knees bent, especially if your low back is feeling tender, or you can extend your legs out long, soles of the feet towards the mat, the edge of your mat. And just take a moment to close your eyes down and pause. Placing your hands somewhere on your torso, start to plug into your breath. Feeling how your inhales and exhales are moving through your body right now. And feeling the support of the ground below you Start to release any tension that you're holding on to right now. So as the seasons change, it's really important to give yourself the space to cope, to adapt to the newness that accompanies the shift from summer to fall, fall to winter and winter to spring and spring back into summer. By slowing down, you help create stability within yourself. By slowing down, you help to stimulate that adaptive quality within you. So as the winds pick up in this transition from summer to autumn, know that inside you have the capacity to adapt to that change, to digest whatever comes up and process whatever comes up. And part of feeling that sense of stability is ensuring that your digestive system stays healthy. So this practice will focus on helping the body and mind to adapt to the changes of the season, as well as help the body digest, stimulate that processing machinery within you so that you can feel content and at ease in this time of transition. So we'll seal that intention by taking a deep inhale through the nose and exhale it out through the mouth. Once more, deep inhale through the nose and exhale it out through the mouth. And when you're ready, we'll slowly blink open the eyes. And from here, we'll draw the knees in towards the chest. So taking your time for this transition, you'll draw your knees in and give yourself a squeeze. And if it feels right to you, you can really wrap your arms around your knees and maybe pull your forehead towards your knees, really scrunching up here. And then we'll slowly release that work, but keeping the knees 
knees hugged in, we'll rock from side to side here. And so allowing the spine to lengthen, you can even bring your knees further away from you and just hold on to your shins, rocking here from side to side. If that's difficult, then you can grab hold of your strap or your scarf and use that to help lengthen your arms here so that you can still have that hold, but without the strain in the shoulders and the arm muscles. So we'll rock here, massaging the muscles around the low back for just one more round of breath. And then we'll release whatever strap or scarf you may have been using. And we'll turn this into a twist. So we're gonna allow the knees to fall over towards the left. And maybe you take your arms out into a T shape. Maybe you keep your hands and arms on your body. You can take your gaze up toward the ceiling or maybe even away from your knees. It might feel nice to take that right hand and place it behind your right, behind your head. So you're kind of cradling your head here. And just allow your legs to be a little heavier. Breathing here. So this practice is going to be a gentle practice, a slow practice where the transitions will move easily, where we'll spend time in some of the poses. So you can come into your breath and come into that sense of stability within yourself. Take one more round of breath here. And then we'll come back through center and pause for a moment with everything on the mat, keeping the soles of your feet down on the mat. And so as you rest here, just giving in to whatever sensations are arising. Letting the body truly rest here on the ground. Take one more inhale here. Full exhale here. And then we'll take it over to the other side. So you'll just allow your knees to fall over towards the right. Hands can stay on the body or you can use that left arm here to cradle your head, the back of your head. And that will intensify the sensation of stretch along the right side of the body. And if it works for you, you can keep it. If you don't like it, you can always release that work. You can shift your gaze towards your knees. You can shift your gaze away from your knees. You can keep your gaze up toward the ceiling. Whatever you need to feel the right amount of sensation for your body. So it's a question that only you can answer. If you really tune in and listen to the messages that your body and your breath is telling you. Notice the breath here. And so twists are really detoxifying. They help the body to release anything that's no longer serving it but also they help to stimulate digestion. So this twisting sensation created in the torso kind of massages all of these vital organs that live in your torso. So we're really making space here, releasing the old, making space for the new, all with this sense of stillness, just the breath moving here. Take one more round of breath here, releasing into the pose and into the ground below you. And then when you're ready, we'll come back through center and we'll pause for a moment. You might press into your feet, lift your hips up and soften your low back down against the mat again and just rest here. Breathing into sensations, noticing what it feels like to release the pose you were just doing. Noticing what's shifted, if anything. And then from here, 
we'll draw the knees in towards the chest. And we'll place the hands onto the kneecaps. Let your feet relax. You might roll your ankles, crack your toes, and just let your feet be still. And then as you inhale, stretch your arms out, lengthen through the arms, move the knees away from you. As you exhale, draw your knees in towards your chest. Inhale to take your knees away from you. Exhale to draw your knees in towards your chest. Letting this be a gentle movement. And this pose is called a panasana. It's also known as a wind relieving pose. So it's really beneficial for the low back, but it also helps to stimulate digestion and release any built up wind or gas. So you can always use this pose if you need a moment to reset and to kind of help stimulate your digestion. And then we'll draw the knees in towards the chest and slowly release the feet down to the mat. Now from here, you can choose to keep your left leg bent or you can extend your left leg long. And we'll draw the right knee in towards the chest. Now if this feels like a lot on the low back, you can bend that left knee Plant the left foot down on the mat and allow that to kind of shorten the pull on the low back so your low back can feel a little more stable. And you might move your right knee here from side to side, so towards the midline and then towards the armpit and towards the midline and back towards the armpit. Just kind of feeling into how your right hip is feeling today. And then keeping this knee bent the next time your knee goes over towards your armpit, towards the right side, let it stay there. Now you might keep the left hand on the knee or you might bring your left hand to your body and then you might use your right elbow to rest on the mat or the ground and use your right hand to hold the right knee up in your um, hand. So it's kind of like a prop, a kickstand. You might roll the ankle. And then take your left hand to your left hip crease and bring your left hip heavy in line on the mat. And so it might be a big movement or it might be a really little movement. Just gently opening through the inner right thigh. Maybe your gaze goes in the opposite direction of your right knee. Taking one more round of breath here. Breathing through any sensations, any discomfort, any sense of stretch. We'll come back through center and take both legs out long. Pausing for a moment to notice the sensation of blood flow. We're coming back to the right leg, all the way down to the right sole of the foot. Breathing here. Noticing if the right foot and the left foot feel different, if the right leg feels different from the left leg, the right hip might feel different from the left hip. Maybe the difference is super subtle. Maybe you can really be aware of that gentle shift. And then we'll come to the second side. So you can choose to keep your right leg long and draw your left knee in towards your chest. If that feels strong on the low back, do feel free to bend your right knee, plant your right foot down on the mat and draw your left knee in towards your chest. You can start to move it from side to side, midline, armpit, midline, armpit. Taking it gentle here. Noticing how the left hip feels, keeping that low back fixed so you can isolate the sensation to your left hip crease. And the next time your left knee comes towards your left armpit, we're gonna allow that leg to stay open. So you can keep both arms like this, arms and hands clasped around your knee. You can use that strap or your scarf instead to help um, give your arms a bit of length, a little more leverage to draw your knee in. Or you can allow gravity to help by bringing your left elbow down on the mat and using your left hand to hold your left leg in place. 
the right hand can come to the right hip crease to help the low back stay stable here as we do something very asymmetrical. So something with some opening on one side as the other side stays a little more square. Take two rounds of breath here. Thinking about deep, full inhales, deep, full exhales. And we'll come back through center, take both legs out long, pausing here for a moment, noticing the sensations in the left leg this time. Maybe closing the eyes down to feel into the subtle shift. Take one more round of breath here. And then we'll draw the knees back in towards the chest and we'll roll over onto one side before gently rolling up to a seated position. In your seated position, we'll do a few shoulder rolls. So as you inhale, roll your shoulders up towards your ears, exhale, release them down by your side. Two more rounds like this. Inhaling, rolling the shoulders up. Exhaling, softening them down. Last round. Now from here, we're gonna work with moving through transitions slowly and with the breath. So we'll be doing a seated arm flow sequence. And we'll take the first two rounds a little slower. So from here, we're gonna bring the hands together in front of the heart center and interlace the fingers. Open your palms out. And as you exhale, take an inhale here. As you exhale, push your hands away from you, palms facing out. Start to round into your spine, tuck your chin towards your chest. Stay for your inhale. Stay for your exhale. As you inhale, Sweep your hands up toward the ceiling, still palms facing out. Soften shoulders down away from your ears, straight, straighten through your spine. Inhale here, exhale here, inhale here. Exhale, open your arms out, release the clasp, and then clasp your hands at your low back. As you inhale, reach your knuckles down towards the ground, open up across your chest. As you exhale, take your arms out into a T shape. Inhale here. Full exhale here. Inhale to bring your right hand down to the mat. Exhale, keeping your gaze towards your left hand. Inhale, reach your left hand up toward the ceiling. Exhale, tip it over towards the right. So getting a deep side stretch in the left side body. Breathing here. On an inhale, come back up both arms into a T-shape. As you exhale, bring that left hand down, reach the right hand up. Inhale here. Exhale, lean over towards the left. Soften your right shoulder down away from your ear, breathing into the sensation of stretch on the right side body. Inhale, come back to that T-shape, gaze over towards that right hand. And we'll bring the hands together in front of the heart center, breathe here. So that's our general sequence. We're gonna go through it again a little slower. So inhale here, exhale, take your arms to clasp Push your palms away from you, round through your spine. Inhale, reach the hands up, lengthen up through your spine. Exhale, release your hands. Get them to clasp, opposite thumb on top. Inhale, reach your knuckles up, open up across your chest. Maybe lift the gaze. Stay for an inhale. Full exhale, start to lower your gaze. Inhale, open your arms out into a T-shape. Take an inhale here. Exhale, bring your left hand down to plant and reach that right hand overhead. 
then one big movement. Inhale back to your arms out into a T shape. Exhale, bring your right hand down. Start to lift the left hand, lean over towards your right. Inhale, come back to that T shape. Exhale, bring your hands together and inhale here. So we'll do that two more times together. Take an inhale here. Exhale, take your hands to clasp, push your palms away from you around through your spine. Inhale, lift your arms up, keep them clasped, palms up toward the ceiling, soften shoulders down away from your ears. Exhale, release the clasp, bring your hands to clasp at your low back. Inhale, reach your knuckles down, open up across your chest. Exhale, soften in. Inhale, open your arms out into a T-shape. Exhale, left hand comes down, right hand leans over towards the left. Inhale, back to your T-shape. Exhale, right hand down, left hand over ear. Inhale, come back to your T-shape. Exhale, bring your hands together in front of your heart center. Inhale here. Last round. Inhale here. Exhale, clasp your hands, push your palms away, round in. Inhale, reach and stretch up, softening through shoulders. Exhale, releasing to bring the hands to clasp at your low back. Inhale, reach your knuckles down, open up across your chest, lift your gaze. Exhale, soften the pose. Inhale, reach your arms out into a T-shape. Exhale, left hand down, right hand over ear, take the side stretch. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, right hand down, reach your left hand over the ear, side stretch. Inhale, both hands come out into a T-shape. Exhale, bring your hands together in front of your heart center. Close your eyes and place your left hand on your heart and your right hand on top. Coming back to your breath. Notice the sensations in your body. Your energy level from moving through transitions slowly and with your breath. A sense of flow and stability from the support of your breath. Take one more inhale here. Exhale it out through the mouth. Blink open your eyes, release your hands down, and we'll come to lay down again. Keeping your props nearby. We're gonna cycle through a few rounds of baby bridge pose here. So you'll walk your feet a little closer to your seat. Maybe you can graze the backs of your heels with your fingertips. I'm having to adjust my ponytail, so you might adjust whatever is going on with uh, the top of your head. If you've got um, your hair in a ponytail or a headband on, so that you can have your back of your head resting on the mat and your spine nice and long. Press down into your feet, keep your arms down by your side, and as you inhale, lift your hips up any amount. As you exhale, slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time. We'll do that two more times. So pressing down into your feet, inhale, lift your hips up, keep your gaze toward the ceiling. Exhale, lower all the way down. Last round like this, push down into your feet, inhale, lift your hips up, any amount. Exhale, lower down, nice and easy. Now keeping your feet as they are, keeping your hips down on the mat, we're gonna add arms. So we'll just do arms first before adding in the hips. So as you inhale, reach your hands back behind you towards the top of your mat. As you exhale, Bring your hands back down towards the ground, nice and slow. So following your breath, inhaling to move. 
exhaling to round to ground down inhaling to move exhaling to ground now we'll add the hips so when you lift your hips up you'll reach your arms behind you when, as you're moving your hips down, you'll bring your arms down as well. So trying to sync up the movement and the breath. So moving gently and slowly. Press down into your feet. Inhale, lift your hips, lift your arms overhead. As soon as you start exhaling, start to lower down, bringing your arms down at the same time. So it's kind of matching the rate. Inhaling, press into your feet. Lift your hips, lift your arms. Exhaling, draw everything back down towards the ground. Three more times like this. Inhaling to lift up. And exhaling to ground in. Last two with your breath. Last round, moving gently, moving with your inhales, grounding in as soon as you start your exhales. And now we'll just pause here for a moment, feeling the effects of that movement in the body. Feeling your breath moving through you. Deep, full inhales. Deep, full exhales. Noticing if there's any difference, any subtle shift in the body. And then we'll lengthen both legs out long. Pausing for a moment to set your spine straight. And we'll reach the arms overhead, allowing the backs of the hands to rest down on the ground. And we're going to start to think about the muscles across the front of the body. So you'll just lift your left leg of an inch off the mat. If it helps, you can point the toes or you can flex the toes. And we're going to lift the right arm just an inch off the mat. So noticing the engagement that happens in your core, releasing tension in the shoulders and thinking about the connection between your fingertips on your right hand, all the way through your right arm, through the, across the front of your body, down to your right, your left hip and your left leg and toes. Release that work, soften in. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, lift that right foot off the mat. Flex your right toes towards your shin. Keep your low back grounded here. And then we're going to lift the left hand off the mat just a little bit. Soften through shoulders. Feel that core engagement and imagine that connection across your entire front body from your left fingertips to your right toes. Breathing here, even as you hold the pose. And exhale, release. Bring your arms down by your sides. And take two rounds of breath here. And now we'll flip over onto the front of the body here. Now we'll reach the arms towards the front of the room and then we'll just lift the right foot off the mat, just like we did on our back. And then we'll lift the left hand and maybe lift the chest. So feeling the engagement on the back of your body now. The connection from your left fingertips to your right toes, all the way down your arm, down your, down your back, 
down your right leg. Take an inhale here. Exhale, release. When you're ready, we'll come to the second side. So you'll press down into your right foot and lift your left leg off your mat just a little bit. And then when you're ready, we'll lift the chest and the right hand, feeling the engagement in the core and following the muscles from the right fingertips all the way down your back, down your arm, down your back, down your leg to your left toes. Breathing here. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, release that work. Bring your arms down by your sides. Maybe bring your forehead or your chin down to the mat. You might wiggle here from side to side like you're a piece of jello, releasing any tension that might have built up in the low back. And then we'll roll over onto one side. So you can cradle your head with your hand. I'm on my left side. We'll grab hold of your scarf or your strap. And we'll just start to lift that left right leg off of the left. So if it feels better for you, you can bend that knee. You can use the scarf here to wrap around your leg so you have something to hold on to. And then lift yourself back up onto that left hand and just kind of hold your right leg up. So you're having to do a little bit of balancing here, a little bit of core work as you take this reclined pose here. So you might feel yourself rocking a little bit, but feeling those muscles stabilizing you in this pose. You might flex your right toes towards your shin. You might flex your left toes towards your shin, noticing what that does. Breathing here for three, Two. And last one. Slowly release that work, releasing the scarf or strap. And we'll bring that right foot in front of the left leg. Release the head down towards the mat and we'll turn this into a gentle twist. So opening the arms out into a T-shape. Now you can choose to stay here. If this doesn't feel right for your body, do feel free to stack your knees on top of each other, just like we did at the start of the class. And as we start to round out our practice, notice how the pose feels now on this side as compared to the first time we came to this pose. Notice if anything's shifted. Take three gentle rounds of breath here. Adjusting if you need to adjust, softening where you need to soften. Maybe closing the eyes down. And then you can roll over onto your back again. And we'll come to the second side. So I'm going to turn myself onto my right side over this direction so that we can face each other still. You'll bring your hand to cradle your head, resting on your right side body. And now you'll lift your left leg up and maybe you can grab hold of your left leg, no problem. Maybe you need your strap or your scarf here to help you find a little more room. You might want to bend your right knee or you might want to See what it's like to keep that right leg straight. And noticing the little wobbles and shakes here. You can feel your body engaging to keep you stable. Using this as a reminder of the source of stability and nourishment that you have within yourself the capacity you have within yourself to remain stable through change, through transition, even through challenge. 
taking two more rounds of breath here, just observing how your body and mind are reacting to this pose, but staying with your breath. And we'll slowly release that work. Come on to your back. And we'll take the soles of the feet together, knees apart, for Sukta Bada Konasana. Breathing here. And your feet can be as close in towards you as you'd like, allowing gravity to act on the muscles of your legs to bring a sensation of stretch and openness to your inner thighs and your outer hips. This is our last pose, second to last pose of our practice. And we'll end in rest. So we'll pause here for five rounds of breath. If you're looking for more grounding, which can be very helpful during times of transition, keep your hands on your body. Using that as a way to stay connected to your breath, to your vital life energy. Two more rounds of breath here. Releasing any tension for this last round. And you can choose to stay here or you can take your legs out long for Shavasana or a final pose of class. So you can continue to keep your hands on your body. But starting with the feet, you can clench your feet, rounding your toes in, and then slowly release that work, letting your feet soften down. Feel your legs resting heavy on the ground. Feel the muscles of your seat release towards the ground below. Soften around the torso. Letting the muscles release. Pull your, your shoulders away from one another, down towards the ground. Let your tongue fall away from the roof of your mouth. Feel your arms heavy in whatever position they're in. Unfurl your eyebrows. Resting here with your eyes closed. Start to notice the sensations in your body. Start to notice your breath. And we'll just pause here for a few moments of active rest. Not sleep, but active rest. Giving yourself a moment to pause even as things transition around you, and transition within you. Letting your breath come back to a natural pace and quality. Rest here. Slowly start to deepen your breath. Staying here in this pose for as long as you need to. Listening to your body. 
to tell you when it's ready to move on with the rest of your day. The light in me honors and bows to the light in each one of you. And so we say, Namaste.